My name is Chris Dillon. I'm president of the Melvin Bar, the Good News Association. And what we have out here today is a family appreciation. We are showing appreciation to the, our, some of our local supporters. Uh, we have the youth football team out here, and we're asking their parents to come out and just enjoy the day with us. We're showing our appreciation by giving uh, free food, activities for the kids, and just just an uh, abundant period. That's what we're doing. We also have the Iron Horse out here. Uh, which is a minor league football team showing appreciation to their families for their support as well. And uh, we just, we're, we're having a great time. We just had our little youth uh, female models to grace the runway for us, and it was, it was, it was one. Trying to get a football team started up there, age 6 to 12. Um, just something to empower the youth up there. Brook Hayden, you know, they breed football up there. So, you know, something to keep the kids out the streets, keep them, you know, train them young. When they get to high school, you know, they be be ready for the. Well, tell be, me how you found out about the uh, the league. Well, I was just um, one day I was um, I was actually at home, and I had someone call me, and they was like, "No, man, you need to think you get a, a tackle league started." So I said, "Yeah, that'd be a good idea." So I started trying to find out where one was at, and somebody told me about Mr. Dillon TNT. They gave me the website. I went to the website, found the commission name. I called him. He gave me the number to get in contact with him. So I called Mr. Dillon, Coach Dillon, and uh, he invited me to come down during the fall and they were playing the game. You know, he showed me the ropes and everything was going on. And it looked very interesting. I told him, you know, we want to get involved in it. And we've been, you know, hooked up ever since. You know, he's a good fella. You know, he's helping us everything, trying to help us get established. So we're looking to um, move forward with this, it. Uh, this year will be our third year in existence uh, here in Pike County. We have changed the name from Pike County to Mississippi Iron Horse because we are combined with some Lincoln County and Lawrence County guys, Amen County and Tallertown and a few guys from uh, Kentwood and Louisiana area. Uh, this year we're looking we're looking forward to trying to get an undefeated season. Last year we finished seven and three. Uh, we took the team Arkansas Sabres to the end uh, on the brick really. It was number 17 in the nation. We lost the game 30 to 25 and Arkansas was averaging right at 80 points a game. Uh, this year we're going to be more exciting, uh, more offensive firepower, the defense is stacked, and we're just looking forward to people coming out June the 2nd at Brookhaven High School at 7 p.m. watching our first game. The, the experience we got this year being with the veterans coming in, everybody's they got their feet wet, everybody knows what to expect. We got a few rookies coming out, so we got to really bring them on our wings and, and teach them what to, let them know what to expect. But I think all, all together we're going to have a good, exciting year. that I noticed that this week, last week, was uh, it's like anything else, turnovers will kill you. You can't win the game if you turn the ball over. And, it, and it, today was uh, a game of turnovers on our part, just uh, execution. We're going to get better with it this coming week in practice. We'll get better with our ex ex execution. And I think you'll see a big turnaround again, just like last week. Uh, one heck of a game, man. One heck of a game. Came down to the wire. You know what I mean? Win something, you lose something. It's all about what you're gonna do after this. You gotta figure it out yourself, man. You tell me. I hope y'all like myself, man. I'm ready to play some football. This is just yeah. the beginning. You know what I mean? Next week is another day. Start tomorrow is another day. This one is over with. We gotta put this one aside. We're gonna go back. We're gonna look at a little film. We're gonna learn. We're gonna pick up. We're gonna uh, uh, correct our mistakes that we started to make towards the end of the game. We're gonna, we're gonna, and then uh, we're gonna go from there, man. We're going to go from there. And we're going to get back to some real football, man. We got a pretty good team. I'm waiting to uh, get the scout report on the team that uh, we're getting ready to play this weekend coming up. We'll get that. And we're going to make some adjustments, man. And I hope that y'all feel like I do. And let's come back out here next week and fire up, ready to go, ready to kick some tail.
watching our backyard TV.